Hello everybody, Joel from Silver Arrow Cars. And I'm here with one of our latest auctions. I'm sure that's how you're watching this video. If not, please watch Bring a Trailer. It'll be coming live soon or visit our website. This is a gorgeous 2000, so year 2000, Ferrari 550 Marinello. This is finished in Grigio Titano. Uh, a lot of people know Grigio Silverstone, which we'll see in the background over there. Uh, Titano is a, a, well, it's a dark silver or a light gray with heavy, heavy metallic in it. We'll get up close to this car and I will show you that. Uh, this car was delivered brand new just uh, across the water from us in Vancouver, British Columbia. This is a Canadian car. It's got 22,000, about 22,500 kilometers, which is about 14,500 miles. Uh, all original and documented. We have all of the service history going back to brand new. Uh, the car has been recently inspected. It was serviced, it has belt service done. Uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal car in a really nice spec. Um, you probably might reference the Bad Boys 2 movie uh, where they used, and I believe, a uh, Grigio Titano car, just like this, in the movie for some of those shots. Uh, they also apparently used a 575, but to me, this is the iconic Bad Boys 2 car. Of course, that 3.6 turbo they used in the initial movie became iconic for that as well. The spec on this car is phenomenal. We do have the build sheet that goes along with all those service records, all of which are in a binder. Um, and it does show that it has the carbon fiber racing seats and does have the carbon interior to go along with that. It does have contrast silver stitching in the seats. It was originally specced with luggage that is no longer with the car, but it is there on the build sheet. Uh, spec'd with Scuderia fender shields, as you see. It was spec'd with aluminum painted calipers, or aluminum color, you see there. The car is complete with all of its keys, all of its books, its original uh, tool kit, its original tire inflation kit. Uh, it's a very, very complete car. In those books, all the original owner's manual, radio manual, and such all comes complete with the car. So very, very complete car, very, very original. I will show you paint meter readings um, in a separate video, and the report is in the auction as well. So let's use this video as a compliment to the photos we've already produced and the driving video. Please click on that. That's on our YouTube channel. Uh, use all of that in conjunction to make your bids. So we'll start with the front. In that service history, it does state that the bumper was refinished in 2014. Obviously, it doesn't say, well, I guess maybe that's not obvious, but it does not say why that bumper was refinished. Uh, you can tell slightly in a difference in color in the right light. It was a service repair order at Ferrari, and I would guess that the front bumper either got scratched or chipped, and that is why it was done. So that's in the service records. All of the rest of the car, in my opinion, would be original paint, and you'll see those paint meter readings, and you can make your own judgment. The car shows very very much like new everywhere so let's start going around the car so we'll start with the headlight lenses that front bumper couple tiny marks to be pointed out small small chip 
one, two, three on the nose. But the rest of the hood is immaculate. Same with the fronts of the fenders. The tires are date coded in the end of 2020. I think the 45th and the 47th week of 2020. Very limited mileage since those were installed as we do have the mileage to coordinate with through the service records. We are lucky in our roads out here in the west. Usually not a lot of debris, rocks, pebbles, etc. And that shows in the condition of the windshield. Mirror caps. And then down the side of the car. is immaculate. You can see that diamond stitch rear package tray through the window and those luggage straps. Nothing to point out coming down that rear quarter. The wheels were refinished and that is visible in the service records as well. Coming around to the back. Remarkable condition throughout. All across the trunk lid and that rear glass. And then really the same down the passenger side, immaculate. Nothing to really point out. I will make mention that here there are the metallic in this area and here. has some weird swirling. Same as the driver's side going down the side of the car. I've got nothing to point out. Just gorgeous titano paint and you'll see We'll open up the shutters and get some more natural light in here. So you can see the, the amount of metallic in the paint. That is a bug from the driving video. Up on the roof. Immaculate, all the glass immaculate. A little bit of discoloration perhaps on the black trim on the rear window and a little bit there as well opening up the door that's gorgeous Specked interior. So you've got the contrast stitching in the leather 
you can see there. Carbon fiber on the door panel. Carbon fiber door sills. And then those carbon fiber racing buckets, which are on the build sheet. In Daytona style leather with contrast stitching. Carbon fiber in the center console. Carbon fiber also in your cluster. And then the rear package tray and the headliner are also diamond stitched with the contrast stitching color as well. All immaculate. You can see in the footwell on the passenger side, we'll go over there, there's the leather wrapped fire extinguisher. You will see, I believe on the original uh, PDI invoice, a passport uh, radar detection system was installed, which I believe for back then also had the laser jamming technology. Let's slide over inside the passenger side. Beautiful and immaculate door sills. Again, in carbon fiber. You can see that carbon fiber trim on the door panels. All in incredible condition. Nothing wrong with the clear coat on them. And you can see it goes in behind the door, the door pocket. question everybody usually has for Ferraris from the 90s. How is the dash leather? Across the top surface, it's incredible. There's some wrinkling, but no lifting to the leather on the airbag panel. And then through some of those curvaceous areas, you can see there's some wrinkling and maybe very slight lifting right in that crease. Now, at this point, very important to mention, uh, within the last year, Ferrari, the car was taken to Ferrari, and during that inspection, they also sent out all items for sticky button removal and refinishing. So there's not a sticky button anywhere in the entire car. Under the hood. Likely to start. There is your EPA decal. This vehicle conforms to US EPA and State of California regulations applicable to gasoline fueled 2000 model year new motor vehicles. So this is compliant in the US. Going through the engine compartment, everything is immaculate. The crinkle finish on the valve covers, the intakes, the rubbers, hoses, fittings, all the rest. No signs of corrosion on any of the fittings, hose clamps. 
I think that is a major bonus for cars coming from our region, very similar to Seattle, is that usually the cars are stored in a way and our climate affords the ability to have cars that don't just get oxidization on fittings and uh, non-protected metal surfaces due to our climate. So lastly, let's move to the back of the car. We'll get into the trunk. To open the trunk, there is no keyhole. So we'll release it here. Just show you all the nooks and crannies. Nice and clean. So in the trunk, we've laid out, we have the original books and I'll probably do a second video on records and books, but here's the original book folio with the mag light and all the books inside there. Uh, I'll open that up later, but it'll show delivery new at Brian Jessel Ferrari in Vancouver. Spare keys. That is your original tender. Binder with service records going back to new. And then in the lower compartment, hopefully my camera doesn't fail here. There is your original toolkit, very complete, and your tire inflation kit. Maybe I didn't spend enough time, and lastly, I'll just do this. The condition of the seats is very very high passenger seat like a lot of these cars doesn't see a lot of wear nothing to talk about and you can see on that outer edge of the seat for wear same goes with along the leather edge and then I'll zip over to the driver's side Same goes for the driver's side as on the passenger. Outer edge of the leather, fantastic condition. Same goes with the upper part of the seat. To find one of these cars with the carbon racing seats is fairly rare. And then for a car with such low mileage, 14 and a half thousand miles or 22 and a half thousand kilometers, uh, with this spec is even harder. Gorgeous car. Had its belt service done in, I believe it was late 21. And then in preparation for sale, it was sent for inspection at Ferrari. That is in the service records. That's when all the sticky no more was done. And then the binder does have all the service records going back to new. We have a summary as well from the Ferrari dealer. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. If you have any questions, please reach out. Silver Arrow Cars on social media, on the internet, whichever. Let us know how we can help. Thank you very much.